a short a mini quiz to test our understanding this far. Under sales and approval or return basis, the ownership of goods is passed only a when the customer gives his approval, b if the goods are not returned within specified period, both a and b or none of the above. The right answer should be C, both A and B, because the ownership of goods is passed only when the customer gives his approval and if the goods are not returned within a specified period of time. Therefore, correct answer 1C. Next, a company sells laptops on sale or return basis. All such sales are treated like actual sales and passed through the sales journal. Just before the financial year end, five computers costing rupees 60,000 each were sold on approval basis at the rate of rupees 75 each. At the year end, the stock of goods lying with the customers would be you could pause the video to make the computations. <clears throat> the right answer in this case would be five computers costing 60,000 each, three lakh should be the value of the closing stock lying with the customers. Therefore, the right answer would be 2D. Please note that we have taken 5 computers at the cost price of 60,000 since the sale price was 75,000. We take cost or sale value whichever is lower. So, value stock, we have taken the cost price 5 computers into 60,000, 3 lakh being the correct. Next, as at 31st March, goods sold on approval basis to X at a price of rupees 1 lakh were lying in X's godown. Assuming that these goods were sold at a profit of 25% on cost, the value of inventories lying with the customer shown in the balance sheet would be A. 1 lakh B. 1 lakh 25,000 C. 75,000 and D. 80,000. Goods were sold at a price of rupees 1 lakh. Therefore, this is the selling price. This is the sale value. And what was the profit element? At a profit of, it was 25% on cost. Therefore, the value of inventories should be valued at cost price since it is lower than the sale price. Now, what would be the value of these inventories? The cost, if the cost is 100, profit would be 25 and therefore the selling price would be 125. Therefore, the relation of profit to cost is 25 by 100 while the relation of profit to sales is 25 by 125 or one fifth of the selling price. The sales value is 1 lakh, profit would therefore be 1 fifth of 1 lakh equal to 20,000. Cost would be 1 lakh minus 20,000 equal to 80,000. Therefore, the value of inventories should be 80,000 that is option D. 3D would be the correct answer. 